Hellhunter, anti Noman. Move among the options in the main menu with the left and right arrow keys. Then press Control to select an option. New game. Load game. Credits. Exit game. Credits. Egg new lo credits. Hell Hunter. Anti Nomen. A game by Giovanni De Bita, aka Tanker Rider. Game design by Giovanni De Bita. Programming by Giovanni De Bita and Massimo De Pasquale. Story by Giovanni De Bita. Sound design SFX and music by Giovanni De Bita, Mariana Morgia, and Freesound.org. Test by Tiziano Ferraro, Enea Cabra, Douglas Gallo, Joel Paris, Manuela Benini, aka Sanzef, Ricardo Vecchi, and Giovanni De Bita. Voice by David McCallion. Store icon art by Laura Ciccardi. Administrative direction by Mirko Venturi. Special thanks to Marta Capaletto, Andrea D'Angelo, Elia Graselli, and Caterina De Santis. An audio game made and produced by Audio Games Association. Move among the options in the main menu with the load credits. New game. The story of Elian, the Vampire Hunter, is about to start. You can skip cutscenes by pressing Control for two seconds. Move among the options in the pause menu with the left and right arrow keys. Then press Control to select an option. Use the right and left arrow to explore the environment, forward and backwards. Use the control key to examine the interactive elements, space bar to open the pause menu, and the I key to access the infantry. During battle, press the up arrow key to attack, press the left, right or down arrow key to dodge. Use the space bar to drink a blood vial, and control to hear Elian's health amount. Very well. That is all you need to know in order to survive. Good luck. Our story takes place in our days, in a place located somewhere in Transylvania. In a world where technology has spread worldwide, mankind can't even imagine that vampires and all the creatures of the night actually exist. Some of them even manage to integrate into society. Elian is a Dampier, the son of a vampire and a human. He became a vampire hunter a long time ago. Now Elian is inside the pub of a village. After a long career as a vampire hunter, the day has finally come. Today Elian will hunt Dracula, the Lord of Darkness. Nothing will change until Dracula disappears. The dusk is about to end, and his drink as well. It's almost time to leave. A modern pub frequented by young people. At the moment there's some catchy music playing. The only thing out of place is Elian, and he knows that. It's time to go. You have reached pub. Glass. Elian's favorite booze was inside it. Was. Not enough. Elian's favorite booze was inside it. Was. Not enough to hinder his job anyway. 
Bartender. Elian pays the bartender. Now he can go. The bartender is talking to other clients. Elian should return to his job as well. Bag. Inside Elian's wide bag there are many ancient weapons, like the legendary Vampire's Bane sword. But, especially nowadays, it's not a good idea to show them in public. Elian is officially a hunter, but actually he also hunts creatures of the night, like vampires. In any case, he still draws people's attention. Inside, young guy. The guy gets close to Elian and asks him to take a selfie with him. Elian's glare is more than enough to make him desist. The guy gets close to young woman. That woman sat by the bar seems more interested in taking a photo of her drink and publishing it on her blog than actually drinking it. To the village, glass. To young one. That woman. To the village. It's a calm place compared to most cities these days. Yet technology has arrived even here. Elian can see on the horizon Dracula's castle. Humans can't see it, but he's a dampier, and that's his destination. You have reached village. Citizens, people go back and forth, unaware that the castle of Dracula is visible, even from here. Actually, some of them wouldn't notice it, even if it was visible to humans. Since their head is bent toward their smartphones, as they walk. People go... Fountain. A meeting point for people. Even in this village, technology has arrived, after all. A meeting... Met a guy. A strange guy who wears a hood. He gets close to Elian and introduces himself as Meta Guy. Then he tells him that he will give Elian some good advice. First of all, he tells him that the secret of a good exploration is to examine an object many times, possibly later. Metagai also asks Elian if he knows what turning around means. Elian is a bit perplexed. The guy goes on to say that it means that if he explores a map going forward and right after he goes backward, that means that he has turned around. The same happens if he goes backward and then forward. He urges Elian not to forget this advice. To the pub. To the castle of Dracula. Citizen. Fountain. Meta. To the pub. Met. A strange. To the pub. To the castle of Dracula. What Elian sees when he enters is a huge room with a gothic look. Four strong creatures are waiting for him. But Elian doesn't hesitate and draws his sword. His glare is just as sharp. You have reached Main Hall. Statue. Manticore. Statue. Manticore. Giant armor. Dragon. Dark Knight. Entrance door to the library. Statue. A huge and majestic statue of a gargoyle is placed in the center of the hall. Elian won't let his guard down. It could be an actual monster. To entrance door. Dark night. Entrance door. There's no reason to turn back. Dracula is here, and Elian is ready for the battle. To the library. Elian won't be able to pass. Not while the Dark Knight guards the way. Statue Manticore. Manticore is approaching Elian. A giant creature with a human face. The body of a lion and a long scorpion tail. Monsters that can attack from many directions or that can grab Elian can be defeated faster dodging them rather than with brute force. The battle begins. The battle ends! 
Alien gains 150 experience points. Alien gets blood vial. Press control to continue. Statue. Giant armor. Giant living armor starts to move. It raises its shield with the left arm. His blade in the other hand points toward Elian. Monsters like this have to be defeated with brute force, and they are resistant too. They are strong, but slower than other monsters. The battle begins. The battle ends. Alien gains 200 experience points. Press control to continue. Statue. Dragon. A dragon stands before Elian. He's charging his fire breath and prepares to burn him to ashes. This is a versatile type of monster. Brute force is required to win, and he's not slow. On the other hand, his strength is medium. This enemy has a special attack called Deadly Attack. This is a sudden attack that an enemy can use during the battle. When you hear this sound, the enemy is doing his deadly attack. You can dodge it like any other attack, but if you get hit, the attack is usually stronger, and it can apply extra effects like strengthening the enemy or weakening Elian for a period of time. The extra effect can be of many kinds, and some of them can be applied by the enemy, even without hitting Elian with a deadly attack. The battle ends! Alien gains 250 experience points. Alien gets blood vial. Press control to continue. Dark Knight. Statue. Dark Knight. Statue. A huge and mag- Dark Knight. The Dark Knight now gets his lance and is ready to fight. He seems quite confident. And fast as well. Enemies like this are faster, even if less strong. The battle begins. <laughs> The battle ends. Alien gains 300 experience points. Alien gets blood vial. Press control to continue. Statue, entrance door to the library. Alien slays hordes of monsters along his way. No one can stop him. Now a library stands before Alien. It's a wide area. Many piles of books are on the ground, but despite the mess, there's no trace of dust. Actually, even the books are in perfect condition. You have reached library room. Bookshelf 1. This part of the library is filled with books about physics. Bookshelf 2. Technology is the main subject of the books inside this bookshelf. Bookshelf 3. This bookshelf gathers all the books that talk about theology. Pile of books. A lot of books are placed in this pile. This chaotic pile is in contrast with the order of this library. Bookshelves. Actually, the library continues for a very long and wide area. It's an immense collection. Anyway, 
Elian is sure that there's no need to make a deeper search into the library than this space. Stairs. The path from where Elian came. There's no reason for a retreat. To the throne room. This door is locked by an electronic mechanism. Elian should check around for a reader that can open the door. Bookshelf 1. Bookshelf, bookshelf 3. There's an empty space in this bookshelf. Elian notices that there's a laser reader in that space. It might be connected to the door. Three books would fit perfectly in that space. According to the other books, it seems like he has to search for the first three books of the Pilgrim. Pile of Books Elian checks in this pile if there's any of the books he's searching for. No result at the moment. Elian takes a closer look and explores in all directions. And this time he finds Book of the Pilgrim 3 and picks it. Bookshelves. Stairs. Book. A lonely book lies on the ground. Just like the one Elian is searching for. He picks Book of the Pilgrim 1. Bookshelf, bookshelf, bookshelf 1. To the throne room, bookshelf 1. Actually, on a closer look, Elian notices that there's a book that has nothing to do with physics. He removes it and picks Book of the Pilgrim 2. Bookshelf 2, bookshelf 3. Elian finds all three books. He puts them in their space. An electronic beep sound comes from here, and then the door is unlocked. Now Elian can proceed. Book bookshelf to the throne room. Elian's assault is overwhelming, and in the end he reaches the throne room. Dracula sits on the throne and barely notices Elian. It seems like he's waiting for his next move. You have reached throne room. Chalice. In his hand there's a chalice with some wine inside. No, that's human blood. Throne. Elian would expect a throne made with human bones, but actually it's more similar to a normal throne. It must be from a very ancient age. Dracula, stained gla- Door, stained glass window. This colored window is decorated with a gorgeous gothic style image. Door, this is it. Elian closes the door, and only one among them will cross it again. Chalthra, Dracula. Elian takes some steps forward and declares to Dracula that now it's the time of his demise. The Lord of Darkness has a smug look on his face and tells him that he should have kept going around, playing the vampire hunter. Elian gets nervous and dashes toward Dracula, ready for the battle. The battle begins. is getting weaker. Less than 75% life points. Elian is getting weaker. Elian is getting weaker. Less than 50% life points. Huh! <laughs> 
Alien is getting weaker. Alien is defeated. Seems like this is the end. It is a battle that Elian can't win. In the end, he loses his strength, and Dracula slowly gets close to him. Dracula's red eyes light up. A few seconds later, Elian's sight gets distorted. The room behind the Lord of Darkness comes alive. The throne morphs into an infernal beast. The room gets dark and populated by creatures, where before there was only the furniture of the room. Elian's psyche is one. Dracula stands before him and, with his claw, he causes a horrible scratch to Elian's torso. His blood flows copiously. In Dracula's hand, there's an incorporeal substance. It's Elian's dampier essence. In terror, he searches for an opening from where to escape, and, with a last glimpse of lucidity, Elian rushes toward the stained glass window. While those creatures are tugging at him, he jumps and smashes the window, falling into the sea. Before his dampier powers disappear, Elian uses them to avoid a fatal landing, but still he faints a few moments later among the waves. Elian opens his eyes, and all around there's a quiet coast. Despite his regeneration powers, he's in bad condition. Besides this, he's tired, hungry, and completely wet. Elian needs to know where he is, but the mist doesn't help. You have reached Misty Coast. Floating gem. Elian notices a gem which is suspended above the ground. He could swear that nothing was there before, as if it materialized just a few moments ago. If he focuses on the gem, his consciousness slips inside it. Apparently he can register his memories inside it. If he focuses on it again, Elian will be able to save the game. Distant promontory. Elian can see Dracula's castle on the edge of that distant promontory. But if he can see it, then it's not far enough for Dracula. He might send his army to finish Elian. So he decides to travel inland as soon as possible and find a safe place for the moment. Blood. There's a lot of blood. Too much. Even if the wounds are regenerating, Elian is still bleeding. He has to hurry. Saving point. You saved the game. To inland. You opened the inventory page. One. Blood vial. A you opened the menu page. Press life points. 100% life points. Experience point. Elian reached level one. One hundred. Experience for the next level. Inventory. Instructions. You can skip. You game progression. Seven percent. Quit game. Instruction. Inventory. You opened the inventory page. One. Blood vial. A crystallization of power shaped like a vial, which contains blood. Press backspace to go back to the menu page. Nothing. You open your back in the map. C. To inland. C. Distant. Blood. Saving. To inland. C. Elian lost basically all of his equipment, and most of it has been engulfed by the sea. He can't see anything on the surface, so there's no point wasting more time. To inland. 
As Elian travels inland, the mist becomes more dense. Besides this, his sight gets blurry. After a while, he finally sees something among the mist. Some wooden building, apparently. Perhaps he can find something useful. You have reached Misty Area, Houses 1. Wooden Building 1. Elian checks inside. But nothing he finds is useful. Elian checks inside. But nothing. Medical kit. A medical kit? Elian is not interested in the tools inside it. What draws his attention is a transfusion bag. Dampiers drink blood, even if they are not attached to human blood like vampires. They can drink any kind of blood, and, since the owner of this kit probably won't reclaim it, Elian will take it. In these conditions, blood would be a mere palliative. The best use of it is in battle to regain strength. Among Dampier's innate powers is the capacity to extract blood and store it into a crystallization of power, like a vial which is more practical in battle. In any case, Elian gets three blood vials. Wooden Building 2 Inside the building there's some rubbish. The only interesting thing is a rope. Inside to the coast, two houses, two. Wooden building one, two houses, two. There are other wooden buildings proceeding further, even some lumber, but no trace of people, not even of monsters. The silence is deafening. Elian barely hears the sound of his steps. In front of him, there's a dense wall of mist. You have reached Misty Area. Houses, too. Wooden Building 3. Nothing interesting, even here. Wait, actually, there's a sack. Now that Elian lost his bag, he will need something to store his inventory. It's a bit dirty, but solid enough to prove useful, so Elian takes it. Now he needs a rope to make it more practical. Now there's really nothing useful here. Lumber. A pile of lumber is gathered here. Wooden building four. To house wooden. Inside it, there's some rusty pots. Nothing really useful anyway. Inside it, lump. A pile of wood. To houses one. Wall of mist. A very dense wall of mist blocks the way. Elian wants to check around before proceeding anyway. So it's not a problem at the moment. Wooden building through wall to houses one. You have reached misty area. Houses one. Two houses two. To the coast. Wooden building two. Since inside the building there's a rope, Elian takes the rope, and now the sack is ready to be transported and to store the items he will collect. Now he has to explore around to have a better idea of where he is and to decide his next destination. To the two houses, to the coast, to, to, what, to, two houses, to. You have reached misty area, houses, to. Wooden built lumber, lumber. To gather that much lumber, it would be necessary to have the presence of a forest nearby. Elian is starting to have a better idea of where he is. The wall of mist has meanwhile dissolved. Sounds like it's time to proceed. Wooden build to ha- to the mist- Wooden building three to the misty area center. The buildings end here. Elian now has an idea of where he is. The werewolf's forest should be nearby. He might be attacked at any moment. He checks his jacket and notices with surprise the silver dagger is still there, the only thing he didn't lose, and the one he needs now the most. Elian takes a look at the dagger and remembers the last journey he took in that forest years ago. Back to the time, in the middle of his career, he was hunted by a herd of werewolves and their alpha. 
Elian still remembers the poor shape the Alpha was in when Elian sliced his bust with the dagger, and he ran away with his herd. Actually, the same thing happened to Elian some time ago. If he meets them now, they would try to avenge themselves, tasting his blood drop by drop. The few he still has. As Elian walks distractedly, he raises his head and suddenly he's already inside that forest. He would recognize it among thousands. When did this happen? You have reached Misty Area, Center. Saving point. You saved the game, corpse. A corpse lies on the ground. Great. Just what Elian didn't want to see. His body is covered in slashes. Probably due to werewolves, he supposes. To houses, too. To the left path. It's quite silent here. Just more mist. Yet, Elian can't think it's anything but a bad omen. You have reached Misty Area 1. Bushes. Those bushes are quite high. High enough to obstruct Elian's sight. Only the path is safe. Getting out. Those bushes are quite high. High enough to obstruct Elian's sight. Only the path is safe. Getting ambushed while trying to pass through bushes would be suicide. Mannequin. An eerie and lifeless mannequin lies on the ground. It sat in the middle of nothing, and the head is bent towards the field. Trees. A bunch of trees blocks the path. The view is completely obstructed. To Misty Area Center. You have reached Misty Area Center. Saving point. You set to the right path. Elian is surrounded by trees and bushes. Some wolves hide in the surroundings, but he senses their presence. There's a sign on a tree. How strange. You have reached Misty Area, too. Wolf. The battle begins. The battle ends! Elian gains 90 experience points. Elian gets blood vial. Press control to cont- Sign. Chopped up tr to Misty to the next area. Sign. Chopped up tree. A chopped up tree with an axe lodged in it. It's quite bulky for Elian. The silver dagger is way more effective on wolves and werewolves. Faster and more practical. To Misty area sent to the next air sign. To the the path is hindered by some branches. Before proceeding and risking an ambush. Elian thinks it's a good idea to look around some more. To mist to the sign to to misty area center to the chopped up tree sign. Elian checks the sign. It says, "Don't turn around." As he finishes reading, he starts to hear a lot of barking and snarling behind him. Is it the pack of werewolves of the Alpha, perhaps? Elian thinks that it's not a good idea to turn around, and gathers pace. The key is to not change the direction in which he goes. If he goes forward, then it must be forward. If he goes backwards, then it must be backwards. The path to the next area is free now. When did that happen? Chopped up tree to misty area center to the next area. The growls behind Elian are increasing. He knows he doesn't have to turn around for any reason. Some werewolf has anticipated the herd and blocks Elian's way, along with some wolves. You wolf, misty area, the battle begins. <laughs> The 
The battle ends. Elian gains 90 experience points. Elian increases his experience level. Press control to continue. Medical kit. There's a medical kit. Elian checks for transfusion bags and finds two of them inside. He gets two blood vials. Werewolf. The battle begins. The battle ends. Elian gains 100 experience points. Press control to continue. Medical kit. Scratch to the previous to the medic. Scratch tr the tree is covered in scratches. As if it was for fun. Or anger. To the previous to the next area. More werewolves are ambushing Elian. And the growls behind him are getting louder. There are two paths in front of him. The one on the right is blocked by wooden planks. The one on the left is free. Where's the Alpha, anyway? You have reached Misty Area 4. Werewolf. The battle begins. The battle ends! Elian gains 100 experience points. Press control. Rock. A rock? It's a bit of a weird rock in this location. Tree. This tree is familiar. There was a lonely tree in the middle of the path, according to Elian's memory. As he watches the tree, more than once its location seems to shift a few centimeters. But maybe that's just because he's in a hurry. To the previous air, to the left path, to the right path. The path is blocked by wooden planks. Who the heck nailed them to those trees anyway? Elian's silver dagger is not enough. Or in any case, it would take far too much time, and he would be caught by the herd. Elian saw an axe somewhere before. It should be perfect for the task. Werewolf. The battle begins. The battle ends! Elian gains 100 experience points. Press control. Rock. Tree. To the previous. To the left path. You have reached Misty Area. One. Bushes. Mannequin. Trees. To Misty Area Center. You have reached Mid Saving Point. You saved the game. To houses too. To the left path. To the right path. You have reached Misty Area 2. Wolf! The battle begins. The battle ends! Alien gains 90 experience points. Press control. Sign. Chopped up tree. That axe will prove useful to break the wooden planks after all. Despite his reluctance, Elian takes the axe. Anyway, the axe should to miss the area center. To the next area. You have reached Misty Area 3. Wolf. The battle begins. The battle ends. Elian gains 90 experience points. Elian gets blood vial. Press control to medical kit. The medical kit is empty. Werewolf. The battle begins. The 
the battle ends. Alien gains 100 experience points. Alien gets blood vial. Press control to continue. Medical kit. Scratch tree to the previous, to the next area. You have reached Misty Area 4. Werewolf. The battle begins. The battle ends. Alien gains 100 experience points. Alien gets blood vial. Press control to continue. Rock tree. To the previous air. To the left path. To the right path. Alien gets the axe and chops the flanks with a few blows. Now hurry. Before the herd comes. Alien doesn't hear any more growls behind him. He managed to lose the herd. Yet a few last werewolves appear here. You have reached Misty Area 5. Saving point. You saved the game, Bones. It's not possible to determine the cause of death. Probably not a good one. Werewolf. The battle begins. The battle ends. Alien gains 100 experience points. Alien gets blood vial. Press control to con saving point. Bow. Very old tr to mist. Very an incredibly old tree, just as he remembers. Wait. Actually, Elian doesn't remember anything about an old tree in the werewolf's forest. What does that mean? Bones. Very old tree. An incredibly old tree. To Misty Area 4. To Mist Save. You save. To Misty Area 6. Elian is about to exit the forest. The last obstacle is in front of him. The Alpha Werewolf. No one else is there. Elian might have a chance to win. You have reached Miss Ground. To outside ground. The vegetation is about to give way to rocky ground. Mountains should be visible soon. Rocks. Even the rocks are increasing, leaving little doubt about the next location. Lumber. Lumber, even here. There's probably a lumberjack house nearby. Alpha Werewolf. To Misty Area 5. Alpha Werewolf. Elian is in front of the Alpha Werewolf. The scar of his dagger is there. Alpha's eyes become bloodshot and he growls wildly at Elian. His size slightly increases, as does his fangs. His claws get sharper. Then he jumps towards Elian's throat. The battle begins. The battle ends. Elian gains 200 experience points. Elian gets blood vial. Press control to continue. Elian stabs him precisely in the scar. This time, the blade reaches his heart. The Alpha finally dissolves into the mist. Now Elian can leave this place. Lumber. 
Rocks, luck to misty area, fight to outside the misty lands. Elian finally comes out of that place. He's at the foot of a mountain pass. In front of him there's a wooden house. From inside it he hears the noise of a crackling fire and the scent of boiling stew. Elian can't help but go towards it. You have reached Mountain Pass entrance. Axe. The axe is near the lumber. There's no need for other axes anyway. Watering can. Apparently the owner of the house is used to taking care of flowers. Flowers. They're good looking. Once in a while it's not such a bad sight. Lumber. This time there's no doubt. This is the house of a lumberjack. To Misty Lands, there's no reason to return. Not now, at least. To the wooden house, to the mountain pass, to the- to the mountain pa axe, to the mountain pass. Elian must enter that house. The mountain pass can wait until tomorrow. To the wooden house. With his last force, Elian enters the house. His perception didn't fool him. He can eat some food and rest. It looks like the house of a lumberjack, judging by the house and the tools inside it. You have reached Wooden House. Saving point. You saved the game. Medical kit. Elian finds inside it two transfusion bags, hence two blood vials. Saving point. You saved the game. You opened the inventory page. Fourteen. Blood vial. You opened the- You're back in the map. Medical kit. Tools. There are many tools used in a lumberjack's job. Pot hanging over fire. Toolbox. The box is typically used to store other tools, but now Elian has to take care of his needs. The box. Bed. The bed of the owner. It's not necessary to use it. To the mountain pass entrance. Saving point. Medic. Saving. You said. Medical kit. The medical kit is empty. Tool pot hanging. Tool pot hanging over fire. Elian gets a bowl and a spoon that he found somewhere in the room and sits in front of the fire. It's warm. Finally, he can get dry and eat something. The stew is actually delicious. Elian puts the pot away and falls asleep in front of the fire in no time. In the middle of his sleep, the sound of dragged chains, followed by a terrible voice, wakes Elian up just in time to avoid a deadly punch from an unknown creature. He has the appearance of a golem, but the shape is one of a humanoid of massive size. The body is metallic, some broken chain is still attached to his body making that creepy noise with each step. Rather than a robot, it's more like a construct. However, Elian must get ready for the battle, but a monster like this seems immune to attacks. He must consider a retreat. To escape when Elian can't win, he has to dodge the attacks until he manages to escape. The battle begins. percent life less than 
75% nine points. Alien manages to escape. The battle ends. Press control to continue. No matter the weapon, that creature seems invincible, and his blows are devastating. Elian is forced to run away. Tools, medical saving point. To the mount save you say to the mountain pass. And you have reached mountain pass. Entrance. To the mountain pass. That being is quite fast, and the path is steep. On top of that, thorns and roots are along the way. They're actually monsters, the worst type of combination for Elian, considering he's trying to escape. You have re blood's mountain path. The battle begins. The battle ends. Alien gains 110 experience points. Press control. Southwest exit. Alien is getting tired, but that creature seems unstoppable. How can it be? The rocks and the steepness are a problem just for Alien. The distances are getting shorter and shorter. This is not good. You have reached Mountain Pass Center. The battle begins. Manages to escape. The battle ends. Press control to continue. Southwest exit. This is the pinnacle of the mountain pass. Even if Elian proceeds further, it will be just a matter of time before that being reaches him. There's an edge over there. Maybe Elian can lure him there to make him fall. You to the waist, mountain, four leaf, edge of the rope, edge of the cliff. Elian places himself next to the edge and waits for the monster, which arrives a few moments later. That being rushes toward Elian. Now he has to make a choice quickly. Press the left arrow to jump to. Elian times his jump just right. The monster misses him and falls from the mountain pass. That should be enough. Elian can finally proceed. He wants to find some people and get some information. But before that, he realizes that the axe can't stay in the sack as it is, or it will be damaged. Maybe there could be a sheath for the axe in that house. Despite what happened, from here, Elian can see a beautiful view of the landscape. Four-leaf clover. What a curious coincidence. Alone among the rocks. They say it brings luck. But Elian doesn't believe that kind of stuff. Despite... What a curious coincidence. Alone among the rocks. They say it brings luck. But Elian doesn't believe that kind of stuff. Despite each day having to face countless creatures of the night. Northeast egg to the wastelands. Elian still has some business left to deal with in this mountain pass. Rubble. 
It has been caused by a landslide. No one would want to be there when it happens. Broken shotgun. If the owner of this weapon is under the rubble next to the shotgun, then he's done for, judging by the state of the shotgun. Edge of the cliff. Bro to the waste northeast exit. You have reached Mountain Pass Center. You opened the menu page. Quit. Game progression. 14%. Instructions. Inventory. Experience. Alien reached level. 2. 830. Experience for the next level. You're back in the map. Rocks. Bloodsucker thorns. Battle begins. The battle ends. Alien. Rocks. Those rocks are perfect to block the path, which is already narrow and steep. Narrow path. It's very difficult to cross this path. Being attacked here by a monster is very dangerous. Man-eater roots. The battle begins. ends. Alien gains 130 experience points. Press c rocks nar northeast exit. You have reached mountain pass northeast. Man eater roots. Battle begins. Battle ends. Alien gains 130 experience points. Pre corpse. The skin of this corpse is dried. He's probably been the victim of the monsters, perfectly camouflaged among the environment. Stone pillar. Maybe a monument, or maybe part of a structure. Still, there's no space to build. So Elian leans toward the first option. Maybe a monument to the mountain pass entrance. You have reached mountain pass entrance. To the mountain pass. To the wooden house. You have reached wood saving point. You saved the game. To the mountain pass. Ick bed. Toolbox. To toolbox. Actually, the sheath was above the box. Elian had to be very tired yesterday to not notice that. Anyway, Elian gets a leather sheath. And now he's ready to leave the mountain pass. Be extinct. To the mountain saving point. You saved the game. To the mountain pass. You have reached Mountain Pass entrance to the Mountain Pass. You have reached Mount Bloodsucker Thorns. The battle begins. <laughs> The battle ends. Alien gains 110 experience points. Press control. Man eater roots. The battle begins. The battle ends. Alien gains 130 experience points. Press control to...
You owe life po experience. Alien reached level two. Two hundred twenty experience life more than seventy five percent life point. You're back to southwest exit. You have reached my rocks, bloodsucker thorns. Battle begins. The battle ends. Alien gains one hundred ten experience points. Alien gets blood vial. Press control. Rocks, narrow path, man eater roots. Battle begins. The battle ends. Alien gains 130 experience points. Alien increases his experience level. Press control to continue. Rocks, now northeast exit. Southwest exit. You have reached Mountain Pass, southwest to the wastelands. The place is empty. Grass doesn't grow anywhere. There are a few dead trees, and some zombies wander around. Alien sees in the distance a manor. Maybe someone is there. You have reached. Save. You saved the game, zombie. The battle begins. <laughs> The battle ends! Alien gains 100 experience points. Press con- Save it. Dead tree, zombie. The battle begins. The battle ends! Alien gains 100 experience points. Press con- Saving po- Dead tree. In these wastelands, there's no space for vegetation. Maybe some time ago, it was a different story. In these- Water canal. A water canal flanks the manor. That's probably the reason why the owner of the manor would live here. To the mountain pass. To the manor. To outside. To the manor. To outside the wastelands. Elian should stop at the manor before proceeding. It's a good chance to get some rest, and information as well. To the manor! Elian knocks the wide and robust double door. After a while, someone opens it. According to his noble looks, it seems like he's the owner. He politely invites Elian to have dinner with him, and he accepts. Before him there's a huge entrance hall, the furniture is expensive and elegant, as expected. The hall is split into two floors, and a wide staircase with a gorgeous carpet connects them. He goes before Elian. The dinner hall is visible from here, right above the stairs. You have reached Manor, Entrance Hall, Typewriter. On a small table to the left of the stairs, there's a typewriter. Such a weird location for it. Anyway, if Elian had an ink ribbon, he could save his progress. Entrance door. Sealed door to the wasteland. East door. E west to floor one. Typewriter to floor one. E Entrance door. It's a double door. It has beautiful decorations and is extremely robust. The wood is of an excellent quality. See to the wasteland, east door, west to floor one. After Elian climbs the stair, the owner invites him to enter by the central door next to himself. 
Elian noticed the presence of some sealed door on the right wing of the hall. When he mentions it, the owner says that it's due to the death of his wife. Her rooms were in the right wing of the manor, but now he can't even stand to enter them, hence the seal. So the owner suggests to tell him his story while eating, since Elian shows some interest. You have reached Manor, Entrance Hall, Medical Kit. Elian finds two transfusion bags, which converts into two blood vials. Sealed door, Medical Kit. The Medical Kit is empty. Sealed door. Elian still wonders about the story of the owner, but he won't interact further with the sealed doors. Elian still... To the entrance hall, to the dinner hall, east door, egg, wet, medical, wet, eat, to the dinner hall. Elian enters the hall, another elegant room with a long table oriented horizontally. The whole dinner is already on it. The flavor is very intense and the meal looks excellent. An impeccable cuisine indeed. The owner has already taken his seat. Now it's Elian's turn. You have reached Manor, Dinner Hall. Saving point. You saved the game. Table. Manor owner. Window to floor. Saving point. Table. The food is very inviting. It would be a shame to let it get cold. Manor owner. Window. It's dark outside. It would be wise for Elian to spend the night here. It's dark outside. To floor one. Saving table. The food is very inviting. Manor owner. Elian sits down too, and they start to eat. The taste of the food meets the expectation of the flavor. Elian asks the owner what the exact location of the manor is. In fact, this manor is in the middle of nowhere. The closest place in the surrounding area is a harbor village to the east. There's some noise outside. Meanwhile, as dinner proceeds, the owner tells his story from meeting his wife until the last painful moments, although he leaves out details for some parts. Was that a voice they just heard? Anyway, the owner invites Elian to join him in trying the main dish. Elian tastes a piece of meat. Excellent. Elian asks about the dish. The owner is pleased to know that he liked it so much. To him, it's the best. Nothing beats human meat. There's a moment of silence. Elian realizes what's happening and puts his fingers in his mouth to throw up what he just swallowed, and quickly stands up. The voice he heard was actually not a single one, but it's too late. Now they are an army, an army of moans. Revenants surround the manor. The owner laughs while watching Elian's reaction. He never gets tired of seeing the reaction of his guests, he says that Elian must surrender, since he can't escape. Elian doesn't understand. Vampires drink blood, but usually don't eat humans. Clearly he's not a zombie, but he behaves like one of them. He could be a Nosferatu, a particular type of vampire with undead traits. It would make sense. He is not the only one with a secret. Elian is a dampier and tells him that he's the hunter, not the prey. The owner suddenly throws the table towards him, making everything fall on the floor. As Elian sees him again, the owner has already revealed his nature. A Nosferatu indeed. Compared to normal vampires, he's oversized, his skin is thick and grey, one arm is bigger, and his body leans towards it. His balance is not quite stable. Elian is ready for the battle. <laughs> the battle begins. Yeah. 
The enemy is getting stronger. Alien is defeated. Seems like this is the end. Press the left arrow to load the last saved game. You have reached saving to mana owner. Aliens. <coughs> the battle begins. <coughs> 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 The enemy is getting stronger. The battle ends. Alien gains 300 experience points. Alien gets blood vial. Press control to continue. With the axe, he opens a hole near the heart, but it will regenerate in time. Before he can react, Alien breaks the unstable balance of his body and he falls on the ground. As the table is broken and one of the legs is detached, he grabs it and with all his might, he stabs it into the hole and pierces Nosferatu's heart as if he had used an ashwood stake. The Nosferatu screams out loud. Then he turns into ash. Elian won, but the horde of revenants won't stop. He has to do something. To floor one. Saving point. You saved the game. Window. Broken to win. Elian can see the revenants attempting to enter the manor. He can't escape anymore. Broken table. Everything lies on the floor. What a mess. One bottle is still intact. As Elian expected, the content is human blood. He takes the bottle and transfers the blood into one blood vial to floor one broken table there's nothing else to to saving point you saved the game you opened the inventory page 19 blood vial a crystal you o quit game hell hunter exit <laughs> Let's go, 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 let's go